God bless you, everyone, at the sound of my voice. Today's teaching is entitled The Perception That Brings Dominion. The Perception That Brings Dominion. We are going to be learning about the perception through traditions, culture, reason, and emotion. Those perceptions can hinder our faith. So having said that, let us go to the presence of God in prayer. Father, we thank you for the opportunity that you've given unto us to preach the word of God, your precious word, to your precious people. Bible says the entrance of your word gives light. The light of the gospel is permit home, family, and land now in the name of Jesus. We give you praise and advance for the victory and testimony that's going out now. In Jesus' name, amen. The perception that brings dominion. What is perception? Perception is the way you see yourself. Perception is the way you see yourself. Do you see yourself in the eyes of tradition? or in the eyes of culture, or in the eyes of reason, or in the eyes of emotions. This is very important. You know why? Because your perception will direct your life. Your perception will direct your life. There are two kinds of perception. Two kinds of perception. One is called natural perception your natural origin, and you see yourself. Number two, spiritual perception. Let's go to the word of God in the book of John 3, verse 6 and verse 31. John 3, verse 6 and verse 31 says, that which is born of the flesh, if you see yourself natural, then is flesh is natural, and that which is born of the spirit. If you see yourself spiritual, you're born of the spirit, then you are spirit. Now, verse 31 says, He that cometh from above is above all, above problem. You don't deny any problem, but because you born from above, you are both problems, you are both difficulties. He said, thousands and we fall in your right hand and ten times your left hand. If you see, you not come to your dwelling. You have to see yourself the way God see you. He said, He that is of the heart is earthly. And speaking of the heart, he that cometh from heaven is above all. Amen. When you are born again, you have potential for victory. When you begin to see yourself, the way God sees you, you begin to experience the victory. You see what Proverbs 3, 7 says? Don't forget, we are talking about the perception that brings dominion. Proverbs chapter 23, verse 7 says, For as he thinking is his heart, so he is. As a man thinking his heart, so he is. If you think yourself naturally, you say, in my culture, nobody ever done this. Then, so it is. It's very, very important. How you see yourself will always, listen to this, how you see yourself will always have negative or positive effect on your life. It's very important today. Oh, hallelujah. I will repeat again. How you see yourself we always have negative or positive effect on your life. You cannot be literal. See what happened in the book of Numbers 13. Numbers 13, God brought the people of Israel out of Egypt in order to take them into the promised land. But come and see their perception. Their perception. Numbers 13, verse 33 says, and there was so that then there we saw the giants, the sons of Anak, which come of the giant, 
and we were in our own side as grasshopper, and so we were in their side. They perceived and said that we are grasshopper. You know, grasshopper don't go to the city. They die in the wilderness. How do you see yourself? Did you see yourself in the eyes of your culture? You see, culture say everybody is doing it this way in our village or in our tribes. I see yourself in the eyes of tradition. Tradition says we always do this way, no change. Or you see yourself in the eyes of reason. Say it didn't seem right. Do you know that logic is the enemy of faith? You try to rationalize the miracle of God. God sent me to you. Are you see yourself in the eyes of emotion? I don't feel it didn't feel right. God said I'm here, but I don't see this thing. Listen to what Jesus says in the book of Mark, chapter 7. Verse 13, Mark 7, 13 say, making the word of God of none effect through your tradition, which you have delivered, and many such like things do ye. In other words, the word of God is the ultimate victory in our life. If you feel something different, God says you are healed, but your body did not feel good, then you claim I'm healed. When you believe that, then you see it. Do not wait to see it or believe. That is doubt. Are you hearing? The word of God can be ineffective because of tradition. As I said, God brought the Israelites out of the land of Egypt. But I say we are like grasshopper. We can't go there. In Numbers 14, 28, I speak to somebody. Your breakthrough is coming to you now. Say amen. Say my breakthrough is coming to me now. Say amen. Say I receive that for my life. I receive that for my family. Breakthrough for you. You break through and you know what? You will break record. In Numbers 14, 28, God said, you know what? As they say, they say you are grasshopper. Yes. That's you. You're going to die in the wilderness. You see? The way you see yourself is very important. Perception. Can you listen to what I'm saying? Jesus went to his own city, Nazareth. And the Bible says he could not do many miracles because people perceive. He said, is it not his capital son, Joseph? His father is here. Jesus' brother is here. They are in the neighborhood. If you read Mark, Chapter 5, you're going to see what I said about Jesus. Their perception about Jesus stopped their miracles. Their perception of Jesus stopped their miracle. You see that in the book of Mark 6, verse 3 and 5. They could, Bible said Jesus could not do many miracles there. The hand of God is reaching out to you now to help you to lift you up. But how do you perceive yourself? Oh, hallelujah. You know, when David faced Goliath, he said, You are stuck on that Philistine. He said, The battle is of the Lord. You are stuck. See, he said that huge guy as on circumstances. Whatever you face now cannot stop you if you see yourself the way God sees you. That is the book of First Samuel. Chapter 17, verse 26 and 47. First Samuel chapter 17, verse 26 and verse 47. He said, the battle is of the Lord. Say that my battle is not mine, it's of the Lord. Listen, God never lost any battle. When you see yourself the way God sees you, the faith will flow. Faith will connect the natural to supernatural. <laughs> oh, glory be to God. When the centurion, the book of Matthew chapter 8, and he came to Jesus because of his servant. Jesus, I'm coming to heal your servant. He said, no, master, I'm not worthy. Don't speak the word. My servant will be healed. 
Uh, Jesus, great is your faith. You can find that in Matthew chapter 8, verse 8. And I need to read that. Matthew 8, 8. But you can read the whole story in that chapter. The centurion answers and said, Lord, I am not worthy that thou should have come under my roof. But speak the word only. And my servant shall be healed. Speak it. Hallelujah. Some of you might have had it before in my mouth. Somebody, one of our members got a disease that cannot be cured by medicine. My servant, my wife will speak the word and not know we are not her. But the disease of the bone, instantly, she was healed. But take few days to come to manifestation. It doesn't matter. And the woman is still alive now. The same thing will speak the word of disease or call them. Um, see book say and call kill with God all things are possible say that with me with God all things are possible this one said to men it may be impossible in Luke chapter 18 verse 27 Luke 18 27 say but with God all things are possible and you say that's with God let me tell you when you believe that God sent me to you this is the word of God all things are both first possible, those who believe also. In Mark 9.23, Mark 9.23 says you can believe. All things are possible. Have you been denied your promotion? Don't take no for your answer. Change your perception. You see, the heart is of the law, Psalm 24, and fullness thereof. The heart not empty. Fullness is for the Lord. And the Lord is your shepherd you do not want. It's coming. Change your perception. See yourself the way God sees you. Amen. Are you listening to me? So when you are born from above, Bible says you are above them all. Now when you are born again, you are born from the tribe of Judah, your faith gives you access to the inheritance, to your inheritance. You have inheritance in sin, in Christ. You are blessed. You are delivered. You are more than a conqueror. Greater I see that is in you, but it's your faith. Satan said, we say, you, it's not yours. You, let me tell you, the moment you come to the faith, you believe the finished work of Christ. You welcome to the family of God. You begin to do things that people say you cannot be. They cannot be done through you. See what the Bible says? It says, our God is the one that qualifies. Those who are unqualified. It's not do you do need the same that doing it through you. If you begin to see yourself, the way God sees you. Say the book of Colossians, chapter 1, verse 12. Colossians 1 12 in Amplified Bible. I see somebody free right now. Say, I'm free. Change your perception. Perception will dictate your direction. See? Colossians 1 12 in Amplified, they say, giving thanks to the Father who has qualified and make us free to share the portion, which is the inheritance of the saint God, holy people in the light. You praise God. Yeah, your faith qualifies you. Faith is the finished work of Christ. There's access to heaven from this natural to supernatural. Don't just believe that Jesus died for you, paid the price. Faith will flow. Romans 5 1. Write all this thing down and you go through later. Oh, hallelujah. Romans 5 1. Therefore, being justified by faith, you are justified. God did not see you in Adam. God began to see you in Christ. You are justified by faith. Then you say we have peace with God. Through our Lord Jesus Christ. In verse 2 saying, whom we have access. You have peace. You have access. Because Jesus died for you. And say, something is wrong in that family. Yeah, you are now in the family of God. The moment you are born again. You are born from the tribe of Judah. Judah. Hey, can you me pray? That is the, the tribe that Jesus was born from. Let me read something about the tribe of Judah you see. Oh, hallelujah. In Revelation 5, verse 5. You are, listen, the perception that brings dominion 
It's when you begin to see yourself in Christ. You see yourself as a winner. Look at Romans and Revelation 5, verse 5 says, And one of the elders said unto me, one of the elders said unto me, Weep not. Behold, the lion that is of the tribe of Judah, listen, the root of David has overcome. Listen to me, has overcome to open the book and to, to, and to the seven seal. They are overcome. You are the tribe that over. Anytime you read Bible, you hear Jesus, the son of David. Really could happen because that tribe is a victorious tribe. We are going there. It's a tribe of leader. That tribe. It's a tribe of solution. Say, give me praise. Oh, glory. That's why the Bible says, give me thanks. Amen. Look at the book of uh, Genesis 49. Amen. When you are born again, you have to see yourself the way God sees you. Genesis 49, verse 8 says, Judah. Thou art the womb that the brethren shall praise. Your, you are the womb that your brethren will praise. Judah means praise. Thy hand shall be in the necks of your enemies, Pura. Demon is your enemy. Fear is your enemy. It's not from God. Disease, depression. You shock it out. Because God has not given you the spirit of fear. Say that. God has not given me the spirit of fear, but of power, of love. One of a sound mind. See, their hand shall be in the neck of their enemy, the victorious tribe, as you born from. Their father's children shall bow down before thee. Victorious. When you born from above, you born in Christ, you born from the tribe of Judah. In verse 10, this is very interesting, this verse 10. You are victorious already because of your your birthright is victory. Genesis 10, verse 10. I will read verse 10 in King James Version. And I will read the Amplified Bible. Everything that wants to stop you, that will stop people in your culture, stopping people in, in, listen, in your family, is not your portion. Because you have been born from above. Bible says you are both firm all. Genesis 49, verse 10. I will read in two versions, King James Version and the Amplified Bible. It said, The scepter shall not depart that authority, shall not depart from Judah, nor a lawgiver from between his feet, until Shiloh come, and unto him shall the gathering of the people be. Oh, hallelujah. You are born to dominate. You have to see yourself like that. Then in verse in, in Amplified Bible, this Genesis 49, verse 10, in Amplified Bible, we say, the center of leadership, leadership shall not depart from Judah. You are born to lead, you know, but your perception have to change to that of leadership. It doesn't matter what you've been through. Your call is more than your fall. He said, now the ruler start be, from between his feet until Shiloh. The Messiah, the peace one, come to whom the, it belong. And to him shall be the obedience of the people. You will lead until the rapture. That's what they say here. Praise God. And I, I want to read First Chronicles. First Chronicles chapter 5. I'm giving you all this so you can study on your own. It's yours. You can only know about God. But when you know the world, you know him. Bible says those who know their God shall be strong. Oh, somebody say I'm strong and do exploits. You go out, you do things. People say, wow. Wow. Hmm? Rich and blessed. Does not mean you have a lot of money. Some have a lot of money, but their houses can kill us. It means you bless going out and you bless coming in. Hallelujah. Look at First Chronicles chapter 5, verse 12. Say, For Judah prevail above his brethren. Victory belong to you. And of him came the chief ruler. 
But the birthright was Joseph. <laughs> you prevail. Hallelujah. You have to have that perception. It doesn't matter what you go through. You know, a lot of people know this, but yeah, you know the next thing, when you are born again, you have to discipline your flesh and renew your mind. You have a bad dream that's not means going to come to pass. You bring it down. You say, in the name of Jesus, I am who God says I am. Devil, you can't conquer me. You have bad thought that's not means you begin to think about that. You replace that thought with the word of God. The Lord said, I'm blessed, I am blessed. You, dis you exercise your senses to obey the Spirit of God. When you are born again, your spirit, you have a brand new spirit. But your mind needs to be renewed. And your body needs to be disciplined. Let's read them. Hebrew clothes. So many to say today. But on, Friday, on Monday, I'll be telling you. Your, your, your birthright is unity. Unity is the foundations of faith. Hallelujah. We're going to learn that on, on Monday. We're going to continue the perception that brings dominion. Look at Hebrew 5, verse 14. Hebrew 5, 14 says, But strong meat belongeth to them that are of full age. Mature people. What is mature people? Even those who by reason of use have their senses as a sign to decide both good and evil. Now, now what? You begin to lead your emotion for the first place to lead is your emotion. You don't allow your emotion to be in the driver's seat of your life. You put emotion in the passenger seat. Hallelujah. You begin to lead your feeling. You begin to lead your logic by the word of God. What God says is the final. And the expert says, over, he says, no, it's not over. Hey, hey, glory be to God. It's not over until I win. Ayaka, ayaka, bakata, baba. Oh, so many to say. I knew somebody's getting blessed. I say, I'm blessed. Say, I'm blessed going out. Come on. I'm blessed coming in. No weapon from against me prosper. Say that no weapon from against me will prosper. Jesus said, I said, by your word, you are going to be justified. And so by your word, you are going to be condemned. That's Matthew 12. Verse 36 to 38. Through your word. But it's very hard for you to speak right if your perception is wrong. Come on. You are a child of God. <claps> Hallelujah. Listen. In case you are not born again, you do understand. Bible say, you say you are not born again. You cannot even see the kingdom. You cannot comprehend what I'm telling you. Say this one after me. If you are not born again, say, Lord Jesus, say that, Lord Jesus. Come into my life and be my Lord and my Savior. Amen. Have you said that? You are born from above now. Then you are above them all. For now you have to come to the Bible believing church. Before I say that, I want to pray healing. In every area of your life, your emotion, in your mind, in your body, in your home. I, I, I release healing power of God upon you now. In this season, you go from victory to victory, from glory to glory. Because greater is he that is in you, somebody, and he that is in the world. Share your, your testimony with us. If you have any, any prayer requests, share it with us. We pray for you. Listen, make sure Sunday you go to Bible Believing Church anywhere you are hearing me from. Go to Bible Believing Church when I'm going to speak the word of faith. Telling you, you are in Christ. You are blessed. You are bold. If you're anywhere in Rhode Island, here in Rhode Island, Northeast, in USA, our church is 1525. Broad Street in Crasting Road Island here in U.S. God Family Church. We meet every Sunday, 9.30 a.m. Come and join the group of winners. You are welcome. God bless you. Share this in all your social platforms. Share it with your friends. Nobody is free until everybody is free. And meet us here again this coming Monday. The same time, the same place. Remember, 
Jesus is love.